Hi everyone, welcome to Safety Time. I'm Safety B and this is my partner Sparky. On each episode of Safety Time, we'll try to address a different safety issue, whether it's ladder safety, safety glasses, PPE, arc flash, lockout, tag out, whatever, whatever lessons uh, we can come up with next. Today is not a standard lesson right out of the book. This is one that I've created um, just from my thoughts, my observance, and uh, just something I want to share as lesson one. So let's get started. You may or may not know that I am a bit of a safety bug. Um, I'm sure if we've spent time on the job together, if you're not one that's always thinking safety, then I've probably bugged you about going to get your safety glasses or going to get the right ladder. I recently took another first aid class and in that class, it wasn't, it wasn't even an extreme, extremely gory, you know, there, there are multi, multiple levels of these uh, safety classes. Um, anyway, my first aid class, it just it was a reminder that if I have to do first aid, that means somebody close to me, it may be somebody that I love or somebody I like, um, or somebody that I don't like, <laughs> maybe somebody that somebody, I and mean, not just me, but any of us who are called on to do first aid, that may be somebody that you can't stand that's laying there on the ground that needs your help. It just scares me to think that it could be, if I need to do first aid, that could be somebody I love there. It could be somebody, one of my coworkers that, you know, we have a relationship. We have, we're friends. We've been working together. Um, I just, that's a scary thought to know that if you need to use first aid, that means somebody close to you has been injured. So we all know that these safety meetings by themselves don't make us safe. Don't make the workplace safe. It takes participation. It, it takes you, each of you and me deciding individually that I'm going to work safely. I'm going to take precautions to do this in a safe way. Most of us have been around long enough that we know how to assess the situation and we know if we need safety glasses or if we need gloves or we need to suit up in an arc flash suit. We know when we need to buckle our seat belt. It's, you know it, it's just you have to act on it. I think we all have something to live for. Um, maybe you have a baby at home. Maybe you have, it's a sweetheart or your spouse. Um, I don't know what you might have to live for, but you need to decide that it's worth living for and you have to take the steps to be safe. You want to get home safely at the end of the day. Don't, don't get a ride to the hospital. Just go home after work. That's what we want to do, right? Now let's get out there and have a safe week at work.